People are getting absolutely in the filthy, filthy green with this side hustle of flipping NFTs for massive, massive profits. So I'm gonna test out this side hustle and I'll let you know if it's good or bad or what the deal is. This is my second attempt. My name's Rob and I test out side hustles. Okay, before we jump into the project that I chose, I just wanna talk about a little research on what I think is best for when it comes to flipping NFTs. One is we wanna check the following on Twitter. We wanna see if they have a large following. I like to see over at least 20,000 followers and in this particular project that I found has over 50,000 followers. But not only do I want to look at the following, but I want to look at the actual engagement because there's a lot of fake followers on Twitter. So we want to make sure that there's actually real engagement from real people. And the reason I want a lot of engagement is because I want to know that I can get a buyer if I get one of these NFTs. Then the second thing I look at is I go to the actual Discord group where there's a big community of, that's evolved around the NFT project. And as well, when we're in there, we want to make sure that there's a large bot, anti-bot count. That just simply shows that there's a lot of bots being kicked out, which means there's a lot of followers, real followers. So this particular project that I found has 200,000 followers. The next thing I look at is the actual artists. Is there any recognizable names or I look at their credits, I look at the information. Do they give real names, real people? And so in this particular project, one of the artists really stood out. She worked with Disney and Netflix and she worked on like the, the Avengers. So she's thing is the roadmap, the roadmap showing what's their plans. What are they looking to do? In this project, they're looking to get into 2024 of expanding into a metaverse type environment where there's all kinds of gameplay. And in this particular one is a dystopian kind of gameplay. And there's a lot of space travel and there's a lot of land where you can buy land and that's huge. Metaverse was huge for buying land. A good NFT project has to have other things going around with it, either a game or staking or some sort of um, something unique and different than just a, just a JPEG. Next thing I look at is the actual art itself. Is it a copy of maybe like a previous project where it's just very similar and it's obviously just a ripoff or is it unique? Is there something that stands out? And in this particular artwork, it, it, uh, it had like over 200 tra different traits, which is huge for an NFT. Usually they don't have so many different traits and you need to like the art because you might be stuck with the NFT for a, a while. So, but this time I'm not gonna mint it. I'm actually gonna wait till they're all minted and then I'm gonna shop around and I'm gonna check out all the rarities and see if I can find a low rate or a lower rarity for a decent price. Um, a lot of times people will actually ha hold on to NFTs. They have no idea they're rare and you can usually scoop up a good one. The, the minting price just to, is 0.3 ether, which is quite high for a project. So it's already has a lot of popularity around it. It might be out of my budget. Um, if it is, it's not a big deal. I'll, there's tons of other projects to move on to.